Okay, a couple concepts that we need to know for Vedic maths. Uh, the first concept we're going to talk about is base numbers. Now, a base number is just basically is a one followed by any number of zeros. So an example of base numbers is 10. Call that base 10. Here we got base 100, base 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, 1 million. Uh, so just keep in mind that a base number, a base number is a one followed by any number of zeros. Okay, quick quiz, uh, base number quiz. Which of the following are base numbers? So remember our definition of a base number is a one followed by any number of zeros. So which one of these are base numbers? Well, let's see, uh, 1,000, that's a one followed by zeros. Uh, let's see, 10, that's a base number. Uh, 1 million, that's another base number. And you can see uh, this is not a base number, so we'll cross that out because it has a 1 here at the very end. Same thing with uh, the number 2,000. You can see that's not a base number because our definition is a 1 followed by zeros. Here we got a 2 followed by zeros. Uh, the number 40, nope, not a base number, 620, no, 9,999, nope, 101, nope. So remember, a base number is a 1 followed by any number of zeros. So 10, 100, 1,000, 1, etc. Okay, let's talk about complement numbers. Now, complement number is uh, two numbers that add up to the nearest base number. So, for example, here we have in base 10, we could say that 1 is the complement of 9, as well as 2 is the complement of 8, 3 is the complement of 7, and 4 the complement of 6. You can see this list goes down. So a complement, uh, these two numbers are going to add up to the nearest base number, which in this case is base number 10. Now a couple more examples, If let's say we're using uh, in one of our problems base 100. Well the complements, once again, are two numbers that add up to the nearest base number. So we can see that 99 and 1 are complement numbers of each other, uh, 82 and 18. Those are our two complements. Number 55 and 45 are complements of each other. And 61 and 39 are complements of each other. You can see that there's quite a, n a lot of uh, numbers that add up to base number 100. And um, it gets even more, more numbers later on when we do something like base number 1,000. A lot of numbers that complement each other to add up to the number 1,000. Uh, next, I'm going to show you guys a quick way using a word formula to find complement numbers very fast. Um, okay, let's just get into it. Okay, for Vedic Mass, here is our first word formula that we're given. And the word formula is all from 9, last from 10. What that means, uh, all from 9, last from 10, is that we're going to subtract all the numbers from 9 but the very last digit we're going to subtract from 10. And keep in mind this is a quick way to find complement numbers. And I'll show you guys using uh, color coordinated drawings here to help you remember. So what this means is we're going to subtract all these numbers from 9 and the very last number from 10. Uh, here we subtract these numbers from 9, the very last number from 10. Once again here, okay, so let's try this first one here. Oh, we can see 9 minus 9, well that's 0, 9 minus 6 gives us 3, and 10 minus 2 gives us 8. Now these two numbers that we just did using this formula here are complements of each other. When they're added together, they're going to add up to the nearest base number.
And this is a real quick way to find complements using this formula. All from 9, last from 10. Okay, let's do the next one. Uh, 9 minus 4, that gives us 5. 9 minus 1 is 8. And 10 minus 2 is 8. So these two numbers here, these are complements of each other. Uh, third problem, 9 minus 9 is 0. 9 minus 1 is 8. 9 minus 1 is 8. 9 minus 3 is 6. And 10 minus 5 is 5. So these two numbers here, these are complements of each other. Uh, problem number 4, 9 minus 5, that gives us 4. 10 minus 6, that gives us 4. These two numbers are complements. Problem 5, 9 minus 1 gives us 8. 10 minus 4 gives us 6. These numbers are complements. And last problem, 9 minus 6, that'll give us 3. 9 minus 3 gives us 6. 9 minus 7 is 2. 9 minus 1 is 8. And 10 minus 2 is 8. These two numbers are complements. So if I were to add up these two numbers in any one of these problems, say the last one we just did, if I were to add up these two numbers here together, the end result would be a base number. So let's do that together. Okay, adding them together, 2 plus 8 gives us 10. So we write a 0, carry a 1. 1 and 1 plus 8, that gives us 10. Write a 0, carry a 1. 1 plus 7 plus 2 gives us 10, so we write a 0, carry a 1. 1 plus 3 plus 6 equals 10, write a 0, carry a 1. And 1, 6, and 3 also gives us 10. So you can see, using this formula, all from 9, last from 10, that we could quickly find the complement number that when added to the original number will give us a we'll get a base number as the end result. Okay, there's a couple special cases when using the formula all from 9, last from 10. The first, uh, the first case here is if there is a zero between the numbers. So here, for example, we could see in the first number here that there's a zero in between numbers. And on the second problem, those zeros are in between these numbers, etc. Now, when there's a zero in between the numbers, we're just going to go ahead and treat it like any other, any other number that we're subtracting from 9. So, for example, this one, we're just going to subtract all these from 9. And once again, the last number from 10. Okay, so let's go ahead and work through a couple of these. Uh, let's do the first one here. 9 minus 4 will give us 5. Now, 9 minus 0, that gives us 9. So we're just going to write a 9. 9 minus 7 is 2. 9 minus 0 is 9. And 10 minus 1 gives us 9. Second problem, uh, 9 minus 1 is 8. 9 minus 0 is 9. 9 minus 0, 9. 9 minus 0 is 9. 10 minus 3, that gives us 7. Next problem, 9 minus 1 is 8, 9 minus 0 is 9, 9 minus 4 is 5, and 10 minus 5 is 5. Next problem, 9 minus 9, 0, 9 minus 0 is 9, 6 from 9 is 3, 4 from 9 is 5, and 9 minus 4 is 5, 9 minus 0 will give us 9, and 10 minus 1 will give us 9. Uh, 9 minus 7 is 2. 9 minus 0 is 9, 9 minus 1 is 8, and 10 minus 1 is 9. Last problem, 9 minus 1 gives us 8, 9 minus 1 gives us 8, 9 minus 0 is 9, 9 minus 0 is 9, and 10 minus 5 is 5. So the first case here that we're working with when using the word formula, all from 9, last from 10, is what do we do when we get a 0 in between the numbers? We're simply just going to do it just like we do any other one of these. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and subtract it from 9. And uh, I'm going to show you guys the next case study is what happens when there's a 0 at the end. Okay, our second case is when there's a 0 at the end of the number. So when there's a 0 at the end of the number, what we're going to do is we're going to look to the left at the next non-zero digit. And we're going to subtract that one from 10. 
So let's look at this first problem here, 4,670. Um, instead of subtracting the very last number from 10, we're going to consider the next number over. That's the one we're going to subtract from 10. So we're going to kind of ignore this last digit. We're going to say that this, in our word formula, all from 9, last from 10, this is the last from 10. So when we work through these, let's work through the first one here. Uh, 9 minus 4 will give us 5. 9 minus 4 will give us 5. 9 minus 6 will give us 3. And then 10 minus 7 will give us 3. And then we simply just bring that last 0, we just bring it down. So we just kind of do like that. Uh, next problem, 9 minus 1 gives us 8. 10 minus 4 will give us 6. And these two zeros we just bring down. Next problem, 9 minus 1 is 8. 10 minus 1 is 9. These zeros just drop down. Next problem, 9 minus 7 is 2. 9 minus 0 is 9. 10 minus 7 is 3. These two zeros just simply come down. Uh, next problem, 9 minus 9 is 0. 9 minus 9 is 0. 10 minus 9 is 1. And the zero we bring down. Now here in this last problem, I kind of want to point out to you guys that if you simply have this number like here, 6,000, that if there's only one digit in the number, that's just good. we're just going to subtract that from 10 because uh, that's considered the last digit. Remember, um, when there's a zero at the end, we look to the left. We look from the zeros. We look left, and we look for the next non-digit, non-zero digit, in this case, the 6. And we just consider that the last number. So in this case, we're just going to say 10 minus 6 is 4. Bring down those zeros. Now I want you guys to keep in mind that this formula is a real quick way to find complement numbers. And we will be coming back to this formula, all from 9, last from 10, later on when we do subtraction, multiplication, division. There's many uses for it um, in other arithmetic procedures. Um, yeah, it's real useful for finding complement numbers, and you'll see later on how we're going to use this uh, when we get to uh, different techniques for, you know, division, multiplication, subtraction, etc. Okay, the last case that we find when using this formula all from 9, last from 10, is when there's a decimal. And when there's a decimal, we're just going to treat it just the same as we have been with all the, uh, all the other times, and we're just going to bring that decimal down. So I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, let's look at the first problem. Uh, 9 minus 9, that'll give us an 8. I'm sorry about that. 9 minus 1 will give us an 8. 9 minus 0 is a 9. 9 minus 3 is 6. And 10 minus 4 is a 6. Now we're just going to bring that decimal on down. We're just going to drop it down. Uh, 9 minus 1, that's an 8. 9 minus 7 is 2. 9 minus 7 is 2. Bring that decimal down. 9 minus 6 is 3. 9 minus 4 is 5. 9 minus 0 is 9. 10 minus 1 is 9. Next number, 9 minus 9, 0. 9 minus 2 is 7. Bring that decimal down. 9 minus 0 gives us 9. 1 from 9 is 8. 0 from 9 is 9. And 10 minus 1 is 9. Next number, 9 minus 3 will give us 6, 9 minus 4 is 5, 9 minus 2 is 7, 9 minus 6 is 3, bring that decimal down, 9 minus 1 is 8, 9 minus 1 is 8, 9 minus 7 is 2, 10 minus 1 is 9, last one, 9 minus 1 is 8, 9 minus 6 is 3, 9 minus 4 is 5, 9 minus 4 is 5, we'll bring that decimal down. 9 minus 4 is 5, 9 minus 5 is 4. Once again, 9 minus 4 is 5, and 10 minus 5 is 5. So when there's a decimal in between, all we're going to simply do is we're just going to bring it on down. We're just going to bring it down and treat it just the same as we would any other number. Once again, these two numbers, when added together, are going to give you a complement. Or these two numbers are complements of each other. When added together, are going to give you a base number. Okay, these two are complements of each other. 
when added together gives you a base number let's go ahead and add these add these ones together uh, let's and uh, we'll see what base number we're working with here let's do for this problem right here let's simply add them together 1 plus 9 gives us 10 so we write a 0 carry a 1 172 is 10 write a 0 carry a 1 1 1 and 8 that's 10 write a 0 carry a 1 here we got another 1 1 and 8 so that's 0 carry a 1 don't forget to bring that decimal down 1 6 and 3 that's 10 so we write a 0 carry a 1 1 2 and 7 is 10 write a 0 carry a 1 1 4 and 5 is 10 write a 0 carry a 1 1 3 and 6 is 10 so it looks like here we're using uh, the base number 10,000 uh, just once again just reiterate when we use the word formula all from 9 last from 10 we are going to get complement numbers. These two numbers are complement numbers, and what that means is they add up to a base number. In this case, 10,000. That's our base number. So we say that is base 10,000. It's our base number. Okay, here's a quick quiz. Uh, what I want you guys to do is go ahead and put this video on pause, try and work through these. Um, see what you get. Uh, go ahead and put it on pause. Remember the three cases that we're going to be using. And uh, I'll get back to you guys as soon as you unpause it. We'll work through these together. Okay, I hope you guys didn't find this too difficult. It's really simple, simple to apply. And uh, it's going to come in really handy later on. So let's try this first one. Uh, 9 minus 1 will give us 8. Oh boy, I keep doing that. 9 minus 1 will give us 8. 9 minus 0, 9. 9 minus 0, 9. 9 minus 1 is 8. 9 minus 0 is 9. And 10 minus 2 will give us 8. Don't forget to bring that decimal down. These two numbers here, those are complement. Uh, 9 minus 8 gives us 1. 9 minus 1 gives us 8. 9 minus 0 is 9. 9 minus 0 is 9. And 10 minus 1 is 9. Don't forget to bring these two zeros down. Okay, the next one, 9 minus 9 is 0. 9 minus 6 is 3. 9 minus 0, 9. 9 minus 8 is 1. And 10 minus 2 is 8. Don't forget to bring that decimal down. Next one, 9 minus 3 is 6. 9 minus 0 is 9. 9 minus 2 is 7. 9 minus 0 is 9. 9 minus 0 is 9. And 10 minus 1 is 9. Don't forget to add that decimal. Here we got uh, 9 minus 2 is 7. 10 minus 1 is 9. Bring those two zeros down. Next is 9 minus 4 will give us 5. 9 minus 4 is 5. And 10 minus 4 is 6. Bring that zero down. Next number, 9 minus 1 is 8. 9 minus 6 is 3. 9 minus 1 is 8. 9 minus 6 is 3. Bring that decimal down. 9 minus 7 is 2. 9 minus 2 is 7. 9 minus 7 is 2. And 10 minus 2 is 8. Next problem, 9 minus 1 is 8. 9 minus 0 is 9. 9 minus 1 is 8. 10 minus 3 is 7. And bring those zeros down. Now just to reiterate what we kind of went over earlier, uh, let's look at the very last problem here, the one we just did. When there are zeros at the end, in this case, these zeros, when they're at the end, we're going to look to the left and we're going to consider this is the last number we're going to subtract. This one is the one we consider uh, in the word formula, last from 10. That's going to be this very last guy right here. And then these zeros, we just kind of drop them down. Uh, same for this problem here, that if there's a zero at the end, that's the second case study that we have that the next number over, that's going to be the one we subtract from 10. Uh, if we look up the next problem above here, for example, if we have decimals, it's really easy. Just use it the same way we've done all the other ones and just bring the decimal down. And once again, if there's a zero in between the numbers, uh, which is our first case study, we're just going to treat that like any other number. We just subtract from 9.